Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol at Big Cat Rescue. Hi, it's just me, I promise. No Carol Baskin in sight. We're gonna start by talking about field work kind of generally. We skipped the part of our class in which we talked about, or would talk about, what folklorists do for work. Um, but way back early in the semester, we talked about the division between public folklorists and academic folklorists. Academic folklorists are obviously primarily working in academic settings, so they're teaching university classes, um, doing academic research, and publishing in academic journals, etc. Um, I am a public folklorist, obviously I'm also a university lecturer, um, but it means that I primarily have a public focus. I do exhibits, I do public opportunities for education, I do workshops, etc. Um, so, while the day-to-day -day stuff is quite different, both public and academic folklorists are kind of bound by this commitment to doing ethnographic fieldwork. So we've spent a lot of time talking about what ethnography is. I won't spend too much time on that. Um, but I will take the opportunity to explain again that unfortunately we just don't have the time or the capability, and we wouldn't have even without the changes to the semester, um, to do ethnography. Ethnography is quite a long-term commitment um, and we just we can't. We don't do that. Um, so we are using ethnographic document documentation methods to the best of our ability. So our final project um, focuses on interviewing and primarily photography. You can do some videography and drawing if you'd like. Um, but in the next maybe four-ish videos, I'm going to talk about how to do what you need to do for that final project. Um, so I'll talk you through how to do an interview. I'll talk you through how to create nice, high-quality photos um, and maybe some videos. We'll talk about how to record interviews. Um, we'll talk through how to do the release form that I've provided on my courses. Um, and we'll also talk about how to process the fieldwork and what that means. So. Um, given the changes to the semester, I'm going to spend a lot of time talking about how to do those things digitally. Um, lots of you are lucky enough to be living with the people who you have, um, who you proposed to work with, which is great. That's super convenient. Um, some of you um, aren't so lucky and will need to be doing interviews over the phone or over Skype or FaceTime or whatever platform you choose. So I'm gonna spend some time talking about that methodology as well. Um, if it doesn't apply to you, tune it out. That's fine, this class is easier for you um, and you don't have to deal with those complications. Um, but we'll, um, we'll see what you need to know. Um, be communicative as I keep telling everyone. Um, and I, I'm happy to share any information that I have over email if these videos don't address it. Just keep in touch and let me know what you need to know.